Hi everyone, it's me Shauna D and today I'm here to show you my face painting setup. So let's just jump right in. So the way I set up, I put my black tablecloth out, I put my towel down. I usually use black for everything unless the client has other specific requests. And that's pretty much what I put down on my table. Then I start with my paints. I pull these out first. Um, this is in a gray laptop case from Fab Makeup. Um, I depotted all of the Fab Makeup um, paints into these square containers. I'll show you what they look like when there's no paint. This is what they look like. They come with a lid and I got these at the container store thanks to my really good friend Brenda Gonzalez. She showed me these in her kit and I said, oh, I have to have those because I like squares. And the reason I like squares is because look at how much you can fit in here. Of course, I have one more container of them um, for my split cakes, but I can fit so many more solid colors. I didn't have very many solid colors in my kit before. So this was just awesome for me. So yeah, they look like this. I took a picture, um, and I'll post those on my blog so you can see. Um, but you just take off, I don't know if I can do this one-handed. I can't do it one-handed. So this is what it looks like without the lid. So it does have a little bit of a, a lip there. Um, but yeah, they're relatively inexpensive too. I think they're like 75 cents each or something like that. Uh, then there are these smaller ones, and these would be good for some little quick little one strokes. They are a little bit smaller than your standard arty cake, so it would be better for like a half inch brush. So this is the case that I got from Michaels, this one here. And this actually had um, little pots in it that looked like this. They were these. Okay, so there was a bunch of these. I took them all out and these little squares fit in there perfectly. There's a little extra room here on the side, so I put these empty ones in there. And I, of course, I'll you know make some splits there, but for right now, these are the split cakes that I'm working with. I took out my rainbow. You have to have a rainbow. I don't know how important that rainbow is. So, yeah, so this one was at Michael's. I think it was like $9, but of course, if you have a coupon, you can get it for 50% off, and that's like $4.50, so that would be awesome. Then I have my little um, wheel of color so that I don't have to mess up my solid colors here with white. Um, I just use this for my double-loaded flowers, my little flower petals, and it it works out perfect. I can clean off the top so when I'm done and yeah, this is great. So I learned that from a class I took on Faba TV. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. It's super awesome. So this is my water well and this is my wipes case. This I also got from my friend Brenda um, I, so we could be a wipe case um, twins because it's super cute. It's from, I think it's Huggies brand. Is that Huggies? Yeah, it's Huggies. It's a Huggies brand and it's refillable and it's cute and comes in a bunch of different um, patterns and colors. Of course I have, here is my hand sanitizer and always business cards. Yes, business cards are super important. Take those to every job you have regardless of who you're working for. Always have business cards on hand. Okay, so here are all my liquids. This is water. Um, this is alcohol. This is mixing fluid for any powders. I keep those in my bag just in case because I don't necessarily always need the powders, but um, sometimes I use it. And then my Prosade. I use the Prosade for my gems. I've decanted my gems. I had it in a much bigger case. This is so much easier. I don't really care for the stickered ones. I like the loose gems so I can just put them exactly where I want them. So I put them in there. I depotted my star blends so that I could keep them in a smaller container. I don't really use a lot of the other colors like blue and green and such. So I may add on later on. I don't know, maybe when it's summer again. But right now it's winter. I don't use the star blends as much. Uh, of course, these are my brushes. I just found a little tin at Michael's with an S for Super Shauna. <laughs> just 
kidding. Anyways, um, but yeah, this is where my brushes go. I keep my smoothie blenders here, just so I don't, um, just in case I get water um, on these brushes over here. I don't want the water falling onto my smoothie blenders. Don't, don't uh, laugh because they're dirty right now. I haven't washed anything. I just did a job. Um, then in here I have a kabuki brush, a little blush brush because I like to put blush on little girls. I got this tin at um, Target during Halloween. It's super cute, isn't it super cute? I love it. And then I have I keep all my little uh, hair bobs and stuff in here. I think I got this from like the 99 cent store. Or no, maybe I got this from Staples. I'm not sure. Then of course my mirror. And here are my glitters. Um, these are all my fabulous glitters. It comes in this, this, these empty containers come in this case. I got this from Michaels too. And I just love it because I can keep a bunch of colors, you know, lids on or lids off. It, right now the lids are on because I'm not working. But I usually will take the lids off of uh, most of the colors. Um, and then glitter gels and, um, my poofers of glitter. I keep a pink one because I like to put pink on lips. And I don't really necessarily like to touch lips with my fingers. And, oh, and my iridescent one that goes on pretty much everything. Um, these little things, I have, I ordered these online um, from a company and they don't clog, which is super awesome. Um, if I can get the link, I'll find, try to find the link for you. And I just took out, I think it was, I think it's Susie Sparkles. I have the Susie Sparkles glitter gel and I just put them in here. The nice thing about Susie Sparkles glitter gel is that it never separates, which is awesome. And then here, these are my um, BAM stencils and my mini BAMs. Um, you all were asking on my face and body art page about the stencil on that last uh, design I posted. Um, I used this one here. And I use it with my Lumiere palette. You're like, well, wait, where is your Lumiere palette? It's right here. So here is my skin palette. I, yeah, I kind of cut it up because I like to use, uh, I had to make my own teddy bear cake one day. And here's my Lumiere palette. And I just use the smoothie blender, you know, with my Lumiere palette and use it over there. And that's how I got that stencil so perfect. So yeah, it's all pretty compact. And, I, of course, I keep it in my bag, my black bag over-the-shoulder bag. Although, I think I'm going to transfer it into a backpack. So, we'll see. We'll see what happens. If I get a backpack, I'll post a picture and I'll, I'll show you. But I just think it would be a lot easier to carry in a backpack. So, I hope I answered any questions you might have. And, yeah, most of the paints here are fab paints. Um, with the, Let's see, there's a Krylon in there. And of course my black and white is Wolf. My split cakes, most of them are like tag diamond effects. There's chameleon right there. Um, I like the chameleon ones. They're so creamy and beautiful. And then most of these handmade ones, actually the handmade ones, the big ones, um, you're like wondering how did she get her sponges in there? Well, okay, I'll so show these you. are the Always Wicked Art sponges. This, this is an original sponge and it comes, it's like a half a sponge and I cut that half in half. And this is how I always use them because they're the perfect size for little faces. So yeah, it fits in there perfectly this way, fits in there perfectly this way. Then over the weekend I got to try these new smaller sponges. Isn't this fantastic? It's in the sh perfect shape of a butterfly. It makes the perfect butterfly every time and yeah, it fits right in there. And this is the other one. These are how her little mini wedges come now. Um, and look at this. Fits in there perfect. And it's just the perfect size for a little eye and forehead and they don't make these big old jumbo giant wings for your butterflies that you don't really need. And it's just, they're perfectly sized. So yeah, I love them. Check out Always Wicked Art. I'll leave a link below. And I keep my sponges, of course, in a little bag like this. And I use a binder clip. And I just clip it to the side of the table. And this setup can be used, I mean, this is great for people who stand or sit. I'm a sitter. I like to sit when I work. And I have the child sit in front of me. So 
you may you could do some modifications to this if you stand you know whatever works better for you but for me this just works great and I just I love my my new setup it's so much lighter fits in my little black over the shoulder bag although I think I'm going to check out a new backpack that I might carry everything in just because I like my hands to be free while I'm walking to whatever job I'm going to and that way it leaves um you know, I can carry my chair and my tables. Um, I don't always take a table and chairs. Just, you know, for your information, I sometimes clients provide that for me. So, but, you know, if I have to carry my own ch table and chairs, then I definitely want my hands to be free. So I hope this answered any questions you might have about my kit and the way I set it up. If you haven't seen how to pack your kit, check out the how to pack your kit video I did a while back ago. It's pretty much the same thing. Um, there's just a couple of changes and yeah. All right. If you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe for more videos like this. Also give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this and I will make more videos. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them on Facebook. I'll leave the link below and I hope you all have a great day. All right. Talk to you soon. Bye.